Hello and welcome to Learning Image Analysis. My name is Lawrence Small, Application Specialist at MyPart Image Analysis Software. If you're here, I gather that you are either in the process of designing a project and expect to collect images that will need measuring, or you're looking to improve your current image analysis pipeline, or you already have some images you took during the course of an experiment and need to figure out how to get data from them. Whichever describes you, you're in the right place. Our goal at MyPart Image Analysis Software is to help people understand the images they collect and how to properly extract information out of them. Often, we see people spending hours in ImageJ or Photoshop, drawing outlines around particles or cells, which is not only tedious, but can also give different results based on the person doing the tracing and how much coffee they had that morning. The goals of this course are to help people understand their images, enable them to find their features in a computer-driven manner that is perfectly reproducible and coffee agnostic, and as a result, be able to collect accurate and representative measurements of those features. In this course, we'll teach you how to use standard image analysis techniques to accurately, rapidly, and reproducibly identify the features in your image and then measure those features. We'll teach you how to clean images to remove noise and artifacts, to process images to highlight features you want to find, to select those features using thresholding and morphological techniques, and to extract measurements from the resulting image segmentation. This course will cover the fundamentals of image analysis and be applicable to many different fields from material science to molecular biology to forestry and aerial photography. At the end of the course, you will have all the knowledge and techniques needed to approach any image analysis problem. In future courses, we will then refine this knowledge for applications specific to different fields of research. So join us as we dive into image analysis. In the next lecture, We'll cover the options you have for image analysis software to solve the practice problems and to analyze your own images. And I'll give a short introduction to my part, the software I will be using to demonstrate the lecture material. I will see you next time.